There's a much anticipated NFC North matchup in the NFL on Sunday when the 4 and 1 Detroit Lions go to Minnesota to take on the undefeated 5 and 0 Minnesota Vikings. I believe I have the winning total in this game. I have the analysis, I have the supporting data, and why should you continue to listen? Well, because I'm Ross the Boss Benjamin and you're not. And why else should you continue to listen? Because uh, 13 and 2 the last four weeks, my NFL free pick videos right here on Wager Talk TV. In basketball, they say the ball don't lie. In handicapping circles, we now say the tape don't lie. All right. Before I get to my pick and analysis on this game, uh, my friends out there, uh, if you can kindly hit that like button underneath as a token of your appreciation. For the time, work, and effort that I put into bringing you a quality free pick video. If you don't want to, that's okay too. Uh, in any event, uh, there's also a subscribe button underneath. So if you want to hit that subscribe button, it's 100% free to do so. What do you get for that? You get your privy to some of the best sports betting experts in all the world right here on Wager Talk TV. And folks, uh, I've been in this business for over 20 years. And uh, when I when I know good from bad in the 35 sports betting experts, including myself, are top shelf. And uh, you won't get a collection of that type of quality of handicappers anywhere on the Internet today. And I say that with the utmost confidence, not bravado, uh, but, you know, facts don't lie. Anyway, um, let's get to the game at hand. And that's the uh, game between the Vikings and the Lions. And I'm going to look at the total in this game, which right now is 50 and a half. The Minnesota Vikings, uh, I mentioned, a 5-0 and perfect record. They've allowed 17 points or fewer in four of those five games. And an integral part of their success has been the fact they forced 13 turnovers in their first five games this season. And uh, anybody who knows anything about the NFL, when you're ahead of the chains, when it turn, when and I should say, if you're in the plus when it comes to turnover margin in any game or over the course of a season, um, you've got a good chance to win a game, and you also have a good chance to have a winning season. And Minnesota has certainly proven that. Um, now, having said that, they have, they averaged 27.8 points per game, meaning the Vikings. Uh, but it's a little bit deceiving because those 13 turnovers have either turned into defensive touchdowns or short fields for their offense. Uh, so, and why I say it's deceiving because they're only averaging 323.2 yards of total offense per game, which is a very low number, and more times than not, does not even come close to um, correlating with that 27 points per game average. It's uh, usually uh, in the 21 to 22 point range uh, when you're only averaging in the low 300s in total offense and sometimes even lower than that. Additionally, they're going to be facing a Detroit team that has only turned the ball over four times this season. So it's highly unlikely they're going to get the turnovers in this game at the rate of what they've been getting over their first five contests. So they're going to have to earn it offensively. As a matter of fact, the Detroit Lions in their last two games against Dallas and Seattle, both wins. As a matter of fact, they put 47 points up on Dallas. They put 42 points up on Seattle, and they did not turn the ball over in each game, and they were a plus-seven turnover margin combined in those two contests. So, again, a little bit uh, – it's, it's not going to be as easy for Minnesota, in my estimation – when it comes to getting the Lions to turn the ball over the way they've uh, had a lot of success doing over their first five games against those five opponents. Furthermore, this is a Minnesota team that's played five and four and one, excuse me, to the under this year with a combined 43 points scored per game. Uh, so they're playing great defense along the way. A lot of it has to do again with their turnovers. Uh, both of these teams have been dynamic in the run game, but both defenses have been extremely good in stopping the run as well. As a matter of fact, the Detroit Lions, um, they're, they've allowed 83 yards or fewer rushing in four or five games this year. 
the Minnesota Vikings have allowed a 103 or fewer yards uh, rushing in all five of their contests, resulting in those five wins. All right, so uh, Detroit, again, coming off those two wins, and they put up 42 and 47 points, and that leads me to this. Since 2012, any NFL team that's coming off back-to-back wins in which they scored 40 points or more on each occasion, and they're playing after game three of the season, and there's a total in this contest of 45 to 52. Those games have played 11-1-2 and two to the under since 2012. And uh, those that's a pretty high percentage, folks. And again, um, I was a little bit surprised to see a team coming off back-to-back wins, scoring 40 or more and playing 11-1-2 and two to the under. But that's what the, uh, the, the data says. And uh, that's what the betting angle says. Uh, the last five games between these teams, so I know I'll get uh, some of you out there will go, but Ross, the last five games between these teams, each one of them gone over the total. And my response, so what? So I like Detroit, Minnesota under the total of 50 and a half on Sunday. A couple more friendly reminders, folks. Um, the, stick around because this might be worth your time because my pay selections, premium pay selections, have been on fire. The NFL, over the last three Sundays, I've gone 7-2-1 and one with my NFL free uh, premium uh, picks. Also, college football premium picks since December 2nd of 2022. That's right, not 2024, not 2022 or 3, 2022. Over that course of time, 107 and 71 on those college football premium picks. Uh, that's 60% win rate and also made a net profit of over $9,100 during that course of time in college football. And folks, like I said, there's world class, oh, 35 world class sports betting experts on Wager Talk. And during that course of time that I just mentioned, I'm number one in college football amongst all 35 of those guys in. That's a feather in my cap, folks, because that humbles me when considering uh, how many great handicappers there are at Wager Talk. Um, also, my football overall, which means college football, NFL combined, 18 and 7 since September 28th. That's good for 72%. And, folks, uh, my Saturday, I have a college football 5% best bet. And it comes in the much anticipated matchup between the Georgia Bulldogs and the number one Texas Longhorns. That game goes at 7.30 p.m. Eastern time on Saturday, nationally televised on ABC. I got the winning side in that game. And my um, 5% best bets in all sports, 27-14 and since February 3rd of this year. Uh, That's good for 66%, folks. As you can see, that's... uh, we're talking about a course of over getting close to eight months now. And I don't put out a lot of those plays, but when I do, I hit at a very high rate. Again, Georgia, Texas winning side on Saturday night in college football. You can get that right at my personal link over at wager talk, wt.buzz slash RB, wt.buzz slash RB. You'll see that link below. Also, folks, when you go to that link, it's my personal page. You'll see all my subscription plans. Not only could you buy daily picks at Wager Talk from myself, but you can get um, your best bang for your buck is the subscription plans we offer. Uh, very, very affordable. Three-day, seven-day, 30-day, and annual packages. Right now, you can get my college football uh, NFL annual package for, I believe, a little over $600, and that'll take you right through the Super Bowl. You could also get the NFL in college football annual packages separately. Also, the NBA is on the horizon, $7.95 uh, for my NBA season pass. We'll take you right through the NBA finals. You can get that right now. And those of you who were with me in the NBA last year realize how good I did, and especially so in the second half of the season where we really made a killing right through the playoffs. All right, so uh, that's it for me. And uh, I like to wish each and every one of you a very good weekend and also make a lot of money. And don't forget to uh, please subscribe and hit that like button.
it don't take much to make me happy. Hit the like button. Till the next time, take care and God bless.